in the studios of Reef Radio and Reef TV, it's 18 minutes after the 7 o'clock hour. We want to welcome you back once more. This is Good Morning San Pedro. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning in La Isla Bonita. It's already the 30th of the month, the month of March 2021. Our uh, let us welcome our guest this morning. Um, our guest are, is from Perfect Green Belize. Perfect Green Belize. You're wondering what is Perfect Green Belize all about? Let me welcome Deidre Isaacs Halak. Deidre, mi amiga, pleasant good morning to you. Good morning, Aiden. How are you? How are things in beautiful San Pedro? Uh, nice we're doing pretty you. good. We're doing pretty good. How about you? Pretty good here in Belize as well. Quiet. It's early morning, so things haven't started buzzing quite well in the city yet. Excellent. Now, I introduced you as our guest from Perfect Green Belize with the PR highlighted or, or in capital letters. Um, talk to us. Tell us about what Perfect Green Belize is about. Well, um, Perfect Green Belize is the name that uh, we function under to try and have a, a formal, organized space. PR because we started out first with public relations services because that's one of my college degrees. Um, and after I had stopped working with the government, a friend introduced the idea of doing consultancy work, giving my services um, as a consultant, as a private consultant. And I started first with um, public relations and expanded into marketing. And then um, my husband also joined us, Herbert Haylock, and he's the tourism and business consultant. So we do tourism and business consulting, looking at your business. Um, assessing the health of it, um, looking at your budgeting, if you're not able to do that, doing coaching for you for that, as well as helping you to realize that, doing business planning. Um, if you want a new venture or you want to expand the venture you're on, helping you with your financial projections and drafting your business plan, so we do that. Um, on my end, we do communications and media consulting, and we also do marketing. So we come in and we look at what your marketing is and, um, and what your strategies have been, where you want to go and, and help you to, uh, to chart a way forward with, with your marketing, to grow your business, to get your publicity out there, um, and, to, and to try and just take, take um, advantage of what is available to you and what could be available to you as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a while since we've been doing this, um, although we've had full-time jobs along the way. So it's been something that um, keeps us occupied as well, keeps us informed and keeps us in touch with a broader sector of people. Yeah, but I'm perfect. Um, Green Belize is, um, is, is pretty new as, as a business entity in the country, right? Well, it is, um, it is per se uh, in that we're trying to make it our full-time goal okay. um, for now. Because of COVID, um, we are both out of the job market and uh, we have these skills and we thought, okay, well, we started doing um, consultancy services 16 years ago, even though we had jobs. Um, maybe it's time for us to look at it and to see if we can, can bring it into something more um, full-time, um, especially with COVID and, and um and, and just where business is on a whole, uh, not just where we are, but also where business is on a whole and making sure that that we can give our services um, and we can also help um, businesses recover and adapt to these changing times. Very good. Let's take a, let's take a look at um, some of what you mentioned, some of the business services. <clears throat> I will highlight some of them and I will ask that you elaborate on it um, so that we can understand uh, um, here on the island a, a little bit more about what the services are, um, that you offer are a marketing research planning and development and implementation of marketing plans well what we what we do is we um when we have a client who would like market um, services we come in and we consult with you we do a consult um we find out where you're at what your dreams are what your hopes are for your business how things have been we help you to do some research on the market that you're in to determine what exactly um, could be your business potential there. We look at how to grow it. We look at um, what, what's the reception among possible um, clients and consumers, and we develop a strategy for you. Um, what we do though, um, over COVID, what we started to do is we started to offer coaching along with giving the service so that by the time we leave you, 
you don't only have a marketing strategy you know how to arrive at a strategy and you know how to move on with implementation if it's the clients wish we stay on board with them for a while helping them with implementation but the goal is that by the time we're finished with coaching and developing that strategy you're able to to implement what we've given to you and you can stand on your own if you have staff that is supposed to do it you'll train your staff on on, on marketing and um, getting them ready to implement um, and if it's if we check back in with our clients every so often to see if they need anything revamped um, if they need any further assistance um, and, and that's what we do in terms of marketing that's the mode that we work in for most yep. of our services Very that good. we we consultation with you to get to know you and then we move from there do you find out that here in Belize we we tend to to, to to say well you know what we I want to open this business but not looking really in depth into it and just say well I want to 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 try this out and I go ahead and I do it without really looking in depth as to what could be the impact and where I can be good at and, and so forth? Yes, indeed. A lot of that happens in, in, in Belize, that we just jump into the business. We don't necessarily start off by planning um, and that by looking at the potential of what it is you really want to do and where you stop up with that and what do you need to do and the adjustments you need to make. So. Our business planning services also does that. It sits down, it listens to you. Uh, what is the business you're involved in or um, what is the business you want to be involved in? And we help you to develop a plan for it. We help you to develop the financial projections to look at what, what could be the potential and the earning capacity of that business and make sure that you have something that you're able to understand, you're able to implement, you're jumping into it a little bit more informed and also that you have what you need to put uh, to, a finan to, to a financier, a bank, a credit union, so that they can see too what is this that you're planning to do and what is the potential earnings so that you, they know too what is your ability to be able to pay back yeah. what you borrow. And you can tell and chart over a space of time, where should I be or where did I want to be? Am I there? Am I hitting the point? What's not happening the way I projected and then being able to revamp your plans? Because we do sometimes jump into business without planning and without foresight of what could be the potential here. Mm -hmm. And maybe sometimes that's why we see businesses open and close after a period of yep. time. It may also be um, the ability to stick to it. Um, did you, did you, are you doing proper marketing? Are you putting the word out there that people know you exist? Um, are you packaging yourself for your for your clients to want to take up your services? So we try to help um, businesses with that. As well. Very good. Um, with regards to business services, you also offer business communication, design, and implementation. Yes, um, we do that for organizations. We do that for public sector entities, and we do that for private sector entities. Um, when I first came back from school, public relations communications wasn't a part of the management cycle. It is more and more becoming a part of the management cycle. Um, when I first came back, BTL was probably the only uh, private entity that had a communication slash public relations unit. Now you see governments having it. Now you see the utilities companies having it. Uh, private sector is a little um, less... Um, taking advantage of public relations uh, communications as a means of their marketing strategy and their marketing mix. And so we try to show as well that private sector can use it as well to get closer to their community, to get closer to their consumers. And what we do for that is we come in, we consult with you, we develop, we train you how to develop a communications public relations strategy. Um, we um, help you to determine your, your budget for it, your work plan for it, and how to get your staff able to come on board. Uh, for communications, we also do executive consultations. Um, leaders of, of government, leaders of departments, heads of, of um, quasi-entities, um, heads of public utilities company, heads of company CEOs on a whole, on how to communicate your message, how to get out there, how to represent your entity. A lot of people are shy about public speaking and a lot of people are even more shy about um, interviews and dealing with the media and using it as a means of sharing their message and getting closer to their consumers and their clients. And so what we come in is that we can come in and we can do a consult with you, we can do a coach with you and get you ready for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. We do it for any age because we just, um, last year we completed a training for 
the Belize City Council Shadow Youth Council, and you see what came out of that. Two of their Shadow Youth Councillors ended up running for um, municipal government and handled themselves quite well in public speaking and in relating to the media. And that's what we want people to become more comfortable with representing yourself, representing your entity, and being able to share your message and get it across. Not just share information, but communicate with yeah. people and win people over for your cause. Um, listening to, to to what you just mentioned, from going to um to to, to the utility government um, to to the utility companies into government offices and and so forth, um, am I safe to say that you no know, matter how big or how small the business is, they can always get a good guidance from Perfect Green Beliefs? Yes, you're right. We work with small entities and we work with larger entities. Um, for the smaller entities, we really want to see you grow. And so we say grow potential, we say um, go farther, stronger, together, because uh, we're not just a consultant, we're not just an expert. We try to get to know you and your business and become your partner so that we truly understand from where you are um, operating and where you want to go so that we can prov provide applicable uh, services and applicable guidance. It's not just a package. It's tailored for you to take you further. Wherever you're at, we'll meet you there and we'll walk with you further so that you can be more successful and your potential grows. Very good. I like this one, this um, this, this section with regards to um, the business service that you offer, a complete events organizing. Yes. Um, we've done that over a period of time, and we've had mostly larger clients for that. We've organized events for the Inter-American Development Bank. We've organized the groundbreaking for Belkogen. We've done annual general meetings. And what we do is, um, again, we sit down, we consult with you. What is it that you're trying to do? What is the event? What is the goal of the event? It's not just to plan a party or to plan a meeting. It's to understand what are your objectives, what are you trying to accomplish, and to make sure that in planning the event, we make sure that you meet those objectives, that you meet those goals. We, we determine a budget for the event, so we don't, we, we don't only plan it. We, we determine a budget, get you to approve a budget. We monitor the budget as we implement, plan and implement that event for you. If it's something that needs the media to attend, we, attend, we, we address that for you, inviting the media, addressing the media of what it is that you're having. We invite your guests for you. Um, so it's from start to finish. At the end of it, we do a report, we assess it, we try to determine, did you meet your objectives? Particularly, did we stay within budget? Because that is very critical for us, that we stay on budget for your event. That it's not just an event, it's an event the way you would like to have it, meeting the objectives that you have, and making sure that it is financially well within what you want it to, to, um, to attain. How can, because uh, I'm getting a message right now um, from a few individuals who are sending me in for, you know, um, how can they get in touch with you? Well, we are available. We have a page on LinkedIn. We have a page on Facebook. We have a page on Instagram. We have a, we have a website as well that is recently developed, www.prfect, green spelled out, B-Z-E dot com. Um, we have a Facebook page in the same name, Perfect Green Belize, P-R-F-E-C-T, Green Belize. And that's the trick. It's not the word perfect. It's the P-R and, um, <laughs> and F-E-C-T. And you can find us there. You can also um, call 607-2929. Uh, that's my telephone number. And you can also contact us by email, perfectgreenbelize, spelled out, at yahoo.com. Yeah. I, I like it. I like the um, the PR just gets your attention. The PR just gets your attention well, about no matter what. We wanted something that would stand out indeed. <laughs> and the color green is because we're a green country, right? Conservation yes. and sustainability is important to us. Green is also a vibrant color. It signifies life. And that's what we'd like to be for our clients, to breathe new life into what they're doing and to be their partners and walk them along to to success. A green plant is a successful plant, so we'd like to make you um, green. It yeah. does not necessarily mean um, refer to conservation, although green is a color of conservation, but it's also a color for sustainability because we'd like you to be sustainable. It, it brings a clear picture of um, the business service and this section that says design and development of companies' public image. Just looking at that, the name of the company 
and um, the, the, the PR there. You've done a wonderful job right there. Well, thank you, Aiden. We really appreciate that. Companies have a personality and an mm -hmm. image uh, just like you as an individual, and that's what one of the things that we tell people when we do public relations um, strategy for them or we do communication strategy for them. What is the image you'd like to have? What is the personality that you'd like to bring? What is this brand? What does your brand signify? What's your brand equity? What is it that you want people to, to feel when they interact with you? And your communications has to be in tune with that so that people feel that. People feel and, and, and gain from your image. So your image is not just your logo, it's everything, how you interact with your clients, how you interact internally with your staff. All our public relations and communications has an inward focus on how you relate to your staff uh, because you can do all the outward communicating um, that you want, but if inwardly there's not a togetherness, there's not a team, the team doesn't understand or the team does not share that vision, or you're treating the team differently from what you're community, communicating outwardly, you can use a blowhorn and it won't work because when, when people meet members of your team, they won't share the same message. And so yeah. inward communication is as important as outward. Very much so. And also important important is um, is training for, for, for the staff and, and those who will be on the front line of, of the business, right? Indeed, that's why um, we, we uh, introduced our, our perfect coaching packages because um, it was always a feature of what we offered where we try to train the staff that, take, that comes along so that they can implement. Um, but COVID, there's also a financial consciousness. And so a client may not have the amount of dollars to invest to keep you on board for a longer period of retainership. So what we do is we coach your staff, we coach your people to understand how we're arriving at this, how we do this, and how to implement. So that when you're finished, they're able to continue. And when they hit snags, then they can come back to you. But you don't have to be there with them holding your hand for the entire time of implementation. You really have strengthened them, grow their potential, and make them more able to work on their own and reach their goals and their objectives. We did that for the Belize Water Services Limited some years ago when we did their communication strategy. And if you visit the office in Belize City, you see, um, I was able to see what they've implemented and, and the public relations uh, uh, assistant manager said to me, you know that, that coaching that you did with us, that strategy that you did with us, it still serves our purpose. We still, we're able to revamp it, we're able to revisit it, and we're able to continue along. And that's really what we want to achieve. It's not just about us earning, but us making sure that our clients are able to do for themselves as well. Um, we're getting a message here, uh, more, than, more than a message, I think it's a question, whether um, Perfect Green believes is is willing to come to San Pedro and make a presentation to the business community. Of course, we're willing to do that. Uh, we are in a very difficult time. We adjusted a lot of our services to work online, but we're coming out of that twilight zone that we were in with COVID, and so we're able to interact a little better. So, of course, we're, we're willing to come to any client, whether it's mm. just a single client or to meet a group of clients to talk to them and to let them understand how we can help you and how we can make what we do for you affordably uh, packaged and fitting your exact purpose. We don't sell package deals, although we have templates. Even when you say, you know something, I want a template to do budgeting. We will sit with you and we'll say, okay, you want this template, but what type of business are you? What are you trying to accomplish? What has been your experience with making your budget? And that template that we give you will be specific to you. Um, and it will be like you have us there with you. So everything we do, we try to make sure that we tailor it to suit your business and it's applicable to you. It's not a one size fits all. Everybody functions, we're all in the market together, but we're all experiencing the market conditions differently. Um, another question here, would a, a, an NGO, a non-government organization, um, does your services actually can be rendered to NGOs as well, or is it only businesses? Uh, no, it's for NGOs as well. What we do, um, both my husband and I have worked in the NGO sector, and so we've gotten familiar with how they function on the business um, on the business end. And if you look at the services that we offer, NGOs have to have a budget. 
Mm -hmm. NGOs have to be able to project earnings. They have to be able to write proposals, which are like business plans, just a different format and a different form and 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 the structure because of the the grant agencies that they reach out to. How do you do that? How do you take this idea for a project that you have and represent it into a proposal with a budget and a work plan so that you can present it to a funder? We also do communications strategy and marketing for NGOs because social marketing is also becoming a big deal. You look at the environmental organizations, they're involved in a lot of social marketing, a lot of public relations and communications, a lot of advocacy to win people over to their cause and to be able to achieve what they do. So we do work with NGOs with it. As well, we have worked with NGOs. We do strategic plans as well. We've done strategic plans, uh, at two of them, and assess them for the Belize Cancer Society. We've done it for the National Council of Technical and Vocational Educational Training, which is public sector. We did it for BAPTA, which is a very small NGO just trying to start out, uh, still struggling with getting uh, revenue streams. And so we tailor the services to try and meet you where you're at so that you can you can grow incrementally. Very good. So there you have it for those of you who are asking and wanting to know a little bit more um you can always send me a message if you need uh, information on how to get in contact with um with deidra or with perfect green belize um i'll, I'll give you the, the the information for you to get in touch with them and um deidra i think that um this is just the beginning of what uh, could be a number of um of uh, morning shows that we can have together because i uh, it, this is interesting. This is uh, something very good, especially here for the community um, in San Pedro and also in Kikaka as well, because we have uh, a, a, a big audience out there in Kikaka as well. Yes, um, um, Aiden, yeah, indeed, we like the partnership. In fact, if there's a way um, that we could impromptu ruffle one of our consultations, we'd like to ruffle one of our consults. Um, for anybody who wins the prize and, and determine how you uh, you want to have that maybe by messaging who messages first who whatever question you put out there for them to win the consult we would like to offer one of our consultations and that consultation could be in communications it could be in marketing it could be in budgeting it could be in business planning it could be in financial projections for any of our services and we will sit with you and answer your questions walk you through that beginning process and if if you like what you hear in the consult then you can contact us to work further with you so let's see if we can raffle a prize and even if i'm not on the air when you ruffle it you, they can always contact me no we'll we'll raffle the prize right away um dan you were listening to to the interview perhaps you can come up with a question and um we'll do we'll do the giveaway either they could call in or they could send a the answer via um, the message board. Um, think about it, Dan. You were listening to to the interview, and um, we're going to give it away this morning. I'm pretty much sure that there are individuals that would love to win it, and uh, for them to, um, to 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 get that consultation um, uh, done for either their business or their NGO. Come on, Dan. Oh boy. <laughs> don't have a question yet. You don't have a question? Deidre, no. do you have Deidre one? will have a question. Deidre, do you have a question? Yeah, but let's make it easy for them. Okay. We, we explain our name, right? We explain our name and why the name. If they can just quickly tell us what's, what's in the Very name, good. perfect name, then that person can win. Yeah. We are a PCT green. And of course, believe at the end because we are in the leads. But yes. if they can tell us what's the significance of that name, that would be the good. significance of the name. Tell us a little bit, and I and, and I think you elaborated on it a little bit. So um, you you can give us your answers via the the message board, or you can give us a call at two two six four zero five four, and you can win yourself the the prize, which is a free consultation at P R F E C T Green Belize. You know about that? You, you, you heard about it, right, Dan? Oh, yeah. All right, good. Oh, yeah. So um, that's where we are this morning. Um, we are interviewing um, Deidre from uh, PRFECT. I call it Perfect Green Belize. And um, the PR is in big capital letters. We all know what PR stands for. So very good. So you can send us the, the, the message, um, your, your answer to the question via... Um, the, the message board that we have on Reef TV, or you can give us a call 
and you will win a free consultation courtesy of Perfect Green Belize. So um, it's based in Belize City, right, Deidre? Yes, we are in Belize City, yes. But we do come out to our clients, and we have, have clients all over um, all over Belize. So. You have a friend we here. With, yeah, we yeah, work with like, Immaculada Credit Union in, in Orange Walk. Orange so Park. we have come um, to, the, to the client wherever they are and work, and work with them. You have a, a, a friend of yours here on the island that says, my old classmate, Iris Edwards. Yes, I remember Iris. <laughs> Actually, we were very close friends when I lived out there. Um, I only lived out in San Pedro for a year, but San Pedro has branded me so much that you would think that I lived there for a much longer time. San Pedro has a, um, finds a weak spot with me. And you were here the last time we booked, were, were, we were on stage. Yes, indeed, we posted um, uh, Senia, uh, Costa Maya pageant. Yes. That was, was big fun. That was really big fun. I do hosting of events as well, too. It takes me um, out of uh, if you, uh, my little comfort zone. Uh, recently, I've become a little bit more of a recluse. But, yeah, that was good fun. It was good fun. Excellent. And I, I congratulate San Pedro for what they've done with that festival because when it first started, it was called the Sea and Air Festival, and I still yep. tend to refer to it like that because that was the first iteration of it. Now it's grown to be the Costa Maya Festival that involves all of all of Central America. So that shows marketing of an event, that shows positioning of, a, of an event, branding, mm -hmm. because it switched names and it and expanded its focus. So the success of that festival speaks very much to good communication, public relations, branding, and marketing. Yep, and um, certainly it has come a long way, and because of the pandemic, you know, uh, it's unfortunate we um, we can't we can't celebrate it. We did not celebrate it last year, and I don't believe um, it's going to happen this year um, this year either because of the the pandemic that yes. we're living in. But certainly, um, Costa Maya is some uh, one of the events that um, people are looking forward to that will be coming back uh, sometime in the in the near future. Um, Deidre, Definitely. We hope by next year we are able to. Yeah. Um, is there any any other piece of info that you would want to share with us before we wrap up this segment? Just that for San Pedro and Key Copper that it's been a very difficult and challenging time because they're very tourism-based um, economy and tourism suffered so much during COVID and still is limping and suffering and trying to recover. Um, we look forward to being able to work with some of your clients and to, to help you to adjust to what's happening as well as to be prepared for the recovery. Um, because things have slowed down so much, um, and many of us have closed our doors or have been thinking, you know, do we really continue this? Let us help you answer that question so that you don't walk away from something that can continue to provide for you and provide for your economy and provide jobs. Let us help you answer those questions and let us walk with you on that road to recover because there will be a recovery and San Pedro is going to recover, Kikoka is going to recover and I firmly believe that recovery is going to be stronger because we're a more resilient people now. Something that never entered our imagination as a pandemic and how it can impact us and how it needs for us to plan for quality assurance, it needs for us to plan for financial for financially, how do we adjust, how do we remain nimble uh, to mega changes? We are aware of that now, and we're able to answer those questions, and we're able to factor that into our planning now. So if you need a partner and you want to continue growing and recover, reach out to us. Our email is perfectgreenbelize at yahoo.com, P-R-F-E-C-T, green Belize spelled out at yahoo.com and our website is the same thing but the Belize is bze.com mm -hmm. very good um, well Deidre I'm going to raffle this prize during my uh, radio show later today and I'll let you know who the winner is and I'll be talking a little bit more about um, Perfect Green Belize on our radio show um, later on during the course of the day and I want to thank you for, for being with us and at the same time take this opportunity to invite you Whenever you need a little space, let us know, and we'll continue the conversation, all right? And then we'll just remind them, it started out around the word P-R, the letters P-R, what does that mean, and what does green signify to us? Yes, just a little tip, you want to win that prize, and we want to be able to, to, to serve you. 
Thank you very much, Deidre. Thank and, you, um, Dan, for having us. And I ask that you, you do take care, okay? You take care, too. Be safe, San Pedro, and keep up. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. That was um, Deidre Isaacs Halak from Perfect Green Belize. We'll be talking a little bit more about Perfect Green Belize later on during the course of the day on our radio show. With that said, we're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Good Morning, San Pedro.